Speak to me. Speak to me. Hallelujah. Speak to me. Speak to me. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless you. Hallelujah. We thank you so much. Hallelujah. For your love. We thank you. Hallelujah. You're worthy of all our praise. Hallelujah. We honor you in this house. There are none like you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we bless you in this house. God, we thank you so much that you speak to us. God, our hearts, our minds, our inner man, it longs to hear from you. So speak to us, oh God. God, we're not touching our ears that we may hear, God. We want, we want our soul to observe the things of heaven. And so we bless you, God, and we give you glory in this house. Speak to us. Yeah, Lord. I make it personal. Speak to me. I thank you, Jesus. And I give you glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We honor the Lord today. Amen. I bless God for each of you and for those who might be unaware. Uh, this is Apostle Chauncey Craig of Disciple Ministries, the place where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. Amen. And so that's what we desire. That is our goal. That is our uh, uh, model. Some would even say mantra or whatever, but that is what God has called us to. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us take us to the back. Let us, let us sing to us from the back. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. But praise God. Amen. Praise so God. we are we we I'm honored. Amen. To be in the house on today. Amen. I bless Amen. God for each of you. And uh, I'm gonna ask if you would just stay in your seats. We're gonna read. Amen. But go with me real quick to Psalm 51. Amen. Psalm 51. Psalm 51. Hallelujah. Psalm 51. When you're there, just let me know you're there by saying amen. 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 Psalm 51. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 51. Amen. I'm going to be reading from the New King James Version. Beginning at verse 1, it says this. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned. And done this evil in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak, and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part you will make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Verse 10, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Hallelujah. Amen. We've read uh, Psalm 51 verses 1 through 10. And so uh, as we uh, make note, jot down, recall, memorize all the other terms we like to use. Amen. Um, I want to remind us that uh, back in May, I came to us and I, the last thing that I, that, that I talked to us about is that humility is a must. Amen. And so I went from telling us in Acts about um, uh, 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 
the um, Agrippa, Herod, amen, I told us about him and him not giving God glory and what happened to him. And so, and then I switched gears and I took us over to Luke and, and I reminded us, amen, how um, Jesus was telling, you know, Luke was, uh, uh, Peter was telling Jesus how, how, how he was going to, you know, be with him and uh, until death, you know, to the grave, whatever, I'm down with you. I'm your ride or die. And Jesus told him, you know, um, actually, you're going to deny me three times. <laughs> amen. <laughs> And he said, you know, and, and, and so he, he, he spoke these things to him. But the thing I want to remind us is that he told him, he said, hey, Satan desires to sift you. Amen. But I prayed that your faith Amen. fail not. And even but then, and he went on to tell him, he said, hey, listen, but when you return, <laughs> strengthen your brother. Yeah, and so I went on to tell us about how you know he he said and and how sometimes we'd be like God, I'm all in. God, I'm sold out. God, I'm. But God already knows that we that we headed for a fall. That we're gonna step yeah. away. That we're gonna quit. And just and, but see, but what we don't realize is we can we can still be coming to church and done quit. Mm -hmm. All right. And so that's the thing I was trying to help us to understand that, that, you know, we can still be talking about Jesus. I'm down with you. Hallelujah. Still wearing our, uh, you know, all about Jesus T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. And we don't feel away. And so he said, but when you return, strengthen your brother. And so, but the only way we can strengthen somebody is if we really got it now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, so he said, when you come back, you're going to really have it. See, right now you're just saying you got it, but you ain't really got it. And so today I want to remind us, amen. And so we're going to call this part two that humility is a must. Part two. Amen. Humility is a must. Part two. And so if anyone didn't catch that, 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 that first part, you may want to go back and take a listen. Amen. To help you understand where we are today. And so as we examine this, amen, I want to remind us when, when you take a look at uh, 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 Psalm 51, amen, you, 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 there's a need to remind us about King David. Amen. And so what happened is some of us know the story and some of us may, may not be so familiar but 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 we know David was a king, amen. And so David is 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 you know we, we're just gonna say he on the rooftop one day, amen. And he uh he checking out his city, checking out uh, everything that God has blessed him with, everything that God has laid him in charge of. And so he 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 decided to go to the top and observe some stuff. And so he noticed a woman, you know, uh, bathing or. You know, doing, doing, clean, cleaning herself, doing what? And he like, whoo, the Lord is my shepherd. I see what I want. <laughs> I'm just playing. That ain't what he said. <laughs> <laughs> I like to say that sometimes to get people a little stirred up. Amen. Mm. But the truth is, whether he, whatever he said, he knew what he wanted. All right. mm -hmm. And this woman just happened to be married. Mm -hmm. And so what David did, of course, David arranged some things. Yeah, he put some things in place where he can holler at her, uh -huh. you know. And so he decided, okay, now it's my chance. I'm going to shoot my best shot. I'm going to shoot my line. I'm going I'm, to I'm rap to her. I'm going to shoot my game, as we call it. In. And we know that he ended up sleeping with this woman. Yeah, love. And she was impregnated. Her husband was out fighting. So David decided... Let me bring him back home and have him sleep with his wife real quick. So, so, so to make it look like it's his. <laughs> let me, let me. But because he had men, I don't know, out there fighting. Uriah was his name, but because he had men out there fighting, he was like, I'm not sleeping with my wife. I'm not sleeping with my wife. Why, why I got men out there still fighting? Why I got men on the front line? I'm not going to come home and lay up. And so he wouldn't do it. And so David decided, okay, go ahead and send it back out and send it to the front line. And he ended up getting killed. Okay? And so, now, this baby is soon to be born. But what we find out is that the baby died. And we find David went into the temple crying and all this and all that and all that. And then, but, but after the baby was dead and it, it was done... He came out, cleaned himself up, and went on like nothing happened. Went on like nothing happened. And so, and this is the David, 
amen, that we love. This is the David that we say had a heart after God. This is the David that we say loved God. This is the one that, 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 that even God tells us that he had a heart after him. This is that same David that we're talking about. And so, but David went on about living his life. Somebody say living his life. Living his life. Thank y'all. Amen. And so he went on about living his life. Until one day, God said, hey, listen, he don't got a little bit too comfortable. So I'm going to send the prophet over there to talk to him. I'm going to send the man of God over there to chop it up with him. And we know he said, Nathan. And so Nathan, understanding that, man, I'm going to see the king. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't just go to him any kind of way. Even though I have a word from the Lord, I, I can't just go to this king any kind of way. Amen. And so when David went to him, I mean, when Nathan went to him, he had to give, he had to talk to him in a certain way. And so what he did was he gave him, he gave him an analogy or he gave him a story. All right. And so when he gave him this story, he was like, listen, the bottom line is this is what happened. Amen. This is what happened. He's telling him, he's like, listen, X, Y, Z. This is what happened. Amen. And so when he told David what happened, David was like, who is this person? Who would do such a thing? Who would do something like that? And Nathan said, it's you. It's you. You did that. And so what he was telling them about is everything that happened with you're right. Uh -huh. Amen. And so what am I trying to tell us? The man of God, the one that we talk about, he was in error. Yeah. And so but once this thing came to him, he began to get it right because he know he'd been found out. God know what happened. God allowed some other people to uh, peep into and to discern what David had did. And so what we find here in Psalm 51 is how David responds. Everybody with me? All right. Somebody say humility is a must. Humility is a must. Now, I know that was a long story, amen, but I, I wanted to bring us to where we're at. Amen. And so now that we're here, listen to what David says. Now that Uriah uh, 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 and this thing been found out in Nate, about Nathan, Bathsheba, and all, it's been found out. It's wide open. And David realized that this thing is about me. Listen to what he says. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. And so, listen, he says, have mercy upon me. And so, the thing that I've been telling us is that humility is a must. If humility is a must, you got to understand, look, the, even the king is saying, Lord, have mercy upon me. Because no matter how much power I got, no matter how much authority I got, no matter how much you bless me, God, if you don't do this for me, I'm nothing. Yeah. If you don't do this for me, I'm subject to die. Everybody understand? Oh, yeah. And so he says, Lord, have mercy upon me, O God. And then he says, according to your loving kindness. But he says, have mercy upon me, not according to what I did. Right. Right. Have mercy upon me, not according to what I was thinking. Because we like to say, well, God know my heart. And so we don't think we ought to get what we're supposed to get. We don't think we ought to. And so we just ask for, Lord, forgive me. But this man was saying, have mercy upon me. And I don't know about you, but I need God's mercy. Yes. Oh, yeah. I've done some things in my life that I'm not proud of. Yeah, Lord. Amen. And, 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 and some of them been since I've been saved. Yes. yes. Amen. And so, and so um, I, God, have mercy upon me. Yeah. Because sometimes we can know to do good and don't do it. Amen. You can't tell me 
that David didn't know what he was doing was wrong. But yet he was still a man of God. Yeah. Are we hearing this thing today? Yeah, Lord. Humility is a must. Have mercy upon me, O oh God, according to your loving kindness. According to the multitude of your tender mercies. And so have mercy on, up, upon me. Amen. God, I need your tender mercy. Yeah, Lord. He said, have mercy, but don't give me no harsh mercy. <laughs> give me some tender mercies. Amen. And so, and, so, and so, again, this is a man that says, I done messed up. This is a man that's showing some humility. He says, blot out my transgression. And so, I don't know, but, but, but the word blot out means erase. My transgressions, erase them, blot them out, take this away. And so what, what am I trying to tell us? Again, I can't speak for you, but I know for me, I've been taught to ask for forgiveness. Amen. I've read in the word to ask for forgiveness. Yeah. But this thing right here lets me know that David went beyond just saying, God forgive me. Right. And then going about his business. Right. But he actually, he, he. He showed some humility. Yeah. He, he got low. He's like, listen, have mercy upon me, oh God. Have mercy. Come, listen, that's a cry. That's, that, that, have mercy upon me. I realize what I did. But handle me tenderly. According to your love and kindness. Amen. And so, 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 what am I saying? Even, even us, we, when, 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 when people ask for, for forgiveness from us, we send them down a road of thorns first. Yeah, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, we don't show love and kindness. I forgive you, but I ain't forgetting. Oh. Ouch. I forgive you, but you need to fix this. Oh, yeah. I forgive you, but don't do it. No, 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 no. According to your love and kindness. According to your tender mercies. Amen. This is what, but that's how we want God to respond to us. Yeah, Lord. But that's not how we respond to other people. Come on now. Ouch. Mm -hmm. But you had hurt at me. <laughs> you know that hurt at me. Jesus. That's why people got church hurt now. You shouldn't have said that. That's church hurt. That's why people leave the church. Anyway. Y'all still with me? Yeah. Verse 2 says, Wash me thoroughly from my... Listen, 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 listen. He's already said, Have mercy upon me. He said, According to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of the mercy. He says, Blot out my transgressions. And then he goes on to say, Wash me. But don't just wash me. He said, wash me thoroughly. Yes. Wash me thoroughly. In other words, sometimes, amen, when we, when, when we mess up, we say, God, forgive me. Jesus. And we know we dirty. So what we do is we just uh, we take off our clothes and wash them. Mm. And so our clothes are clean, right. but we ain't clean. Yes. 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 Amen. But he said, no, 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 no. Wash me thoroughly. He didn't say wash my sin. He didn't say wash, well, wash what I would wash the stuff that I that, that I did. He didn't say wash the person that I did it with or the person that I did it to. He didn't say, he said no, wash me yep. thoroughly. My God, wash me. Jesus. I need to be clean. Jesus. He says wash me thoroughly Holy. from my iniquity. And cleanse me from my sin. And so again, wash me from my iniquity. And then he says, cleanse me from my sin. And so can I tell you, there's a difference between washing and cleaning. <laughs> Amen. Anybody, anybody, anybody here that's going to raise some children, you know what I'm talking about. Amen. Wash yourself. Go go wash yourself. And then we tell them to go wash themselves. And when they come back, we say, come here, let me smell you. 
Yeah. Come here, come here, come here, Miss Mary. You ain't clean. <laughs> Go back. Yeah. Go back and clean yourself. And so there's a difference between washing and, and cleansing. Yeah. Yeah, you got in the water. <laughs> uh huh. But did you lather up that rag? Come on. Did you lather up that 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 uh that loofah? Come on. <laughs> Did you get all them places? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Come on, <laughs> Did you hit all them places? Yeah, Lord. Yes. Because if you ain't hit all them places, then you ain't clean. Yeah. Right now. Oh, you washed, but you ain't clean. Amen. Everybody understanding what I'm saying? Amen. So David wanted to make sure not only was he washed, but that he was clean. Yeah. Yes. Because humility Jesus. is a must. Yes. And so can you imagine a man... A grown man, a king, telling the king to watch them. Jesus. Listen, 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 listen. Because we, we don't even want to get naked in front of us. Jesus, come on. Right now. But he's literally telling him to wash him. Because humility is a must. Yes. And so it lets us know that, that, listen, we have to get naked before God. Amen. What am I? Listen, 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 listen. This story I just shared with us about David, hallelujah. We have to understand that obviously something was going on in, the, in up here. Not only up here, but something was going on inside of here. Yes. And so the thing that I would tell us is that if David went on to just live his life, he had some self-deception going on. Jesus. Mm -hmm. He had them deceive himself that it, I oh, guess no. it's okay. Mm -hmm. Come on. I guess I got away with it. Mm -hmm. uh, huh? The baby ain't here, so I ain't got to worry about paying child support. Oh, Lord. Jesus. But he was deceiving himself. God knows. Yes. Yeah, Lord. What are you trying to tell us about? I'm trying to tell us, amen, that there's some stuff about us that we think won't well, nobody know. But God knows. Yes, Lord. Some stuff we think we done got away with. Yeah. yeah. But God knows. Yeah. And it's time for us to get honest, amen, to get naked before him and say, cleanse me. Yeah. Have mercy upon me. God, I've, I've, I've done this wrong. I've done that wrong. I, I missed this. I, I, cleanse me. Wash me. Hallelujah, somebody. Oh, Humility is a must. Jesus. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Listen to verse 3. For I acknowledge my transgression. See, but most of us, we don't want to acknowledge it. Instead of acknowledging our transgression, we be looking around. Well, they, did, they, they, they shouldn't have did that to me. <clears throat> well, they shouldn't have said that. Well, they shouldn't have treated me like that. But no, 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 no. Acknowledge yours. That's the first thing, amen. I, 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 you talk about alcoholic anonymous or, 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 or addiction counseling, whatever. The first thing is admitting. Amen. Is admitting. David said, I acknowledge my transgressions. I'm admitting them. He says, and my sin is always before me. Mm. And so we know what we done did. We know what we done thought. We know how we done carried out. We know how we done carried on. We know. Yes. Be honest. Yes. Acknowledge it. My mind went there. Yeah. I shouldn't have thought. I shouldn't have thought about him like that. I shouldn't have thought about her like that. Yeah. That's somebody else's wife. That's somebody else's yeah. husband. Just be honest. Amen. It's good. Get naked before God. That way we can be cleansed. Amen. Listen. There are TV shows. Um, they got some border patrol where people try to sneak drugs in. They some some of them put it inside of their body. Some of them put it in other places. Smuggling. They put stuff in other places. When it comes to people in jail, you, you know, there's people that, you want to know how people get them cell phones in jail? Mm -hmm. Two ways. Two ways. Either they done stuck it in their body somewhere, up in their 
body somewhere? Or one of them corrections officers done gave it to him? That's the, that, that's the only way. But listen, we can't hide that stuff from God. But that's what we do. We try to hide some stuff. We got it stuck over here in this crib, stuck in that crib, stuck over here. And we think, we already know. But God sees us. He knows us. Then I, I just told us about, about, about Peter, him and Peter. He already told Peter what was getting ready. What was getting ready to happen? So don't you think he know us enough to know what we hiding? Sometimes we want deliverance. We want God to really move in our life. But we won't even be honest. Yes. Come on. And say I'm messed up. God, I lied. I didn't even have to lie about that one. But I lied because it's habitual. I just like lying. Sometimes I don't want to lie. But before I know it, I don't lie. Yeah. I don't want to be like this, but I say I be trying to fix my tongue, but it seems like every time I turn around, I'm still cussing. Lord God. God don't mind cussing. Lord God. He don't mind. I heard it said that some people slip up and cuss. Amen. But I also heard that some people, some, some people meant to cuss you out, even though they're Christian. They meant to. That's right, yeah. Some people slip up. Yeah. Amen. And so while I'm right there, I need y'all. I need y'all to check this out now. There was a young man, and he was walking down the street, and he was visiting. Amen. Actually, he was just passing by a cemetery, and so while he's passing by this cemetery, all of a sudden a hearse pulls up, and when he, and, and so when this hearse pulls up, all of a sudden a coffin. Fell out the back. Oh, Lord. And so he see this coffin. Now he's scared. And so all of a sudden he start moving. He's like, but that coffin kept following him. Oh, and so all of a sudden he's like, this thing fell. And so he begins to run. He's running. And this coffin is following him. He runs into the house. And, and, and as a matter of fact, he had to run up some stairs to run into his home. Oh, Lord. But yet this coffin came. Boom. Hit the door and came in. This coffin now, it, it's following him. Oh, Lord. And so all of a sudden, he, he sees the coffin come into the house, so he turns, he runs into the bathroom. The coffin comes to the bathroom, boom, knocks the door off in the bathroom. Mm. And so all of a sudden, he reaches up in the cabinet, he grabs some cough, some, some, some cough syrup, and then the coffin stops. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Against you, you only have I sinned. 
And so but the thing that I want us to understand is that David understood that, 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 that this, this writing is not literal. He understand that he's done more sin than just against God. Everybody understand it? Yes. Amen. But what he's saying is, we don't realize if I do it to you, I did it to God. Amen. And so he's saying, so to you, to, so, so really to you, I've sinned. Even though I did it to them, if I did it to them, I did it to you. Everybody get it? Amen. Yes. And so you got to understand that, but, but what David did, David, David messed some folk up. He messed up a whole family. Everybody understanding that? And so he said he, he messed up that family because of what his eyes saw. Jesus. Hallelujah. So now that man is gone. And so then, again, against you, you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight. He says that you may be uh, found just Jesus. when you speak and blameless when you judge. And so in other words, you rightfully can judge me because I did it. I sinned against you. And so even though I'm the king and people know you love me, Whatever you do, I, we know you're going to do it right. That, that you, it's, you, you, you blameless. They can't fault you for what you did. I, I did it. So for whatever you want to do, however you want to punish me, whatever, however you want to judge, so be it. And can't nobody charge you foolish. Because you know. Everybody hearing this. Amen. And so what I'm saying is again, but he's admitting this thing. But with us, when stuff starts going on, we always look at we always looking at that. Well, they did this. Well, they did it. We'd be looking down the road. Well, well so and so did it. Didn't that happen to them? Or, or they did this to me and, and nothing happened. And so forth and so on. But no, David is looking at himself. Because he understands that humility is a must. Amen. Are we hearing this today? Yes. Anybody need some call, sir? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Mr. Fleming said, get on with that now. Get on. Get on. Stop, stop all that. Look at, look at all serious and stuff, man. All tight. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, Lord. Hey, man. Listen, we still here. Amen. Listen to what he says. Verse 5. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. And so what David is saying, I see, we, we know, uh, 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 we know, amen, that, we'll put it like this. David is not saying that my mama was a, um, a trick. That ain't what he's saying. He ain't saying my mama was the worst thing. That's, 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 not, that's, not, that's not what he's saying. But the thing he's trying to tell us is that when we're born unto this world, there are some things that we got that, that we're faced with. Yeah, Lord. There are some things that, you know, we talk about generational curses. We talk yeah. about, um, you know, uh, uh, some soul ties. We talk about all that other stuff, man. But the, but he's saying, listen, he's like, hey, from the beginning, I, I, I had an uphill battle now. I had an uphill battle. And again, he's not making no excuses. He's not making excuses. He's just saying that this is some stuff I got to deal with. And so let me humble myself and realize that I got some stuff to deal with. Because again, sometimes we feel like, well, I'm in a single parent home. They're in a two parent home. They got it better than what we got. No, you, everybody got their stuff to deal with. Amen. Everybody got their stuff to deal with. Yes, Lord. And so it's, it's not that we got to look to our left, look to our right and try to compare and try to say this. No, 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 no. We all got some stuff we got to deal with. Hallelujah. Amen. He's saying, listen, I got mine. Everyone got this. Hallelujah. Amen. But listen to verse 6. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts. And in the hidden part, you will make me to know wisdom. Listen. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts. And so what am I trying to tell us? I'm trying to tell us that sometimes, amen, even in the inward parts, we be lying to ourselves. Come on. We be deceiving ourselves, just like David. Yes. 
Oh, I'm okay. You know your eyes always, you know, looking at something you ain't got no business. You got that right. You know your eye always, you know, you, you listen. And when your eye go there, you know, now, now you don't took a picture of oh, yeah. it. Amen. And so, and, so, and so now you got this picture. And so every now and then, this picture flashed up before you, amen. Like back in the days, you got, you know, them little street, the, the movies they used to play. You had to put the little, all the little cars in there. <laughs> but anyway, and so now we got this, you got this image in there, and you look at it, you still, woo. Amen. And so, what I, but, but what am I trying to tell us? What am I trying to tell us is, these things happen. These things happen. But we got to be able to deal with our mind. We got to be able to be honest and say, God, Amen. I'm thinking on this. Yeah, Lord. God, I've allowed this thing to, to, to play my mind. And so we want to be forgiven for that. But not just forgiven. We want to be washed. Right. We want to be cleansed. Right. Well, I'm not even seeing yeah, that Lord. image anymore. Yeah, yeah Lord. Was well, it coming back? The eyes is like a camera. It takes pictures. Yeah. That's how we remember each other. Uh-huh. Because the, the, my eyes took a picture. Okay, I know what you look like. And so if I see you again, even though you done got some hair, you done grew up, I'm still saying, I remember you when you was a baby. Mm -hmm. Why? Because my, my eyes done took a snapshot. And I still remember you. Amen. Yeah, Lord. <sighs> okay, let me help you. Let me help you. I'm going to look for Amen. Them. I'm going to look for them. For all my military people, you know, especially those that left home early, you know, 17, 18, 19, you left home early, and then you go on, and you stay in the military, you listen, and you do what you do, and then, you know, you come home every now and then, and then you retire, and you're around your family, and you they doing what they do, but guess what? Have you ever noticed, they still, most people still remember you from the time from when you were 17? Yeah, Lord. When you was 18? Yeah, Lord. When you were 19? You're looking at it like, I'm a grown man. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm not that person anymore. But they still looking at, but that's how they remember you. Why? That's the snapshot. That's what they remember. That's what I hope this makes sense to you. Amen. Oh yeah. Amen. And so, and so, and so, but so, what I'm, what I'm trying to tell us is that humility is a must. We got to be honest with God. We got to lay this stuff out and say, God, forgive me. God, you know everything I've been through. You know my mind. You know my thoughts. You, and so, if, if, and so, if, because if I don't, then I'm really not being truthful on the inside. Then I'm really, I'm really not telling the truth to my insides. And so now I'm saying, God, help me. God, I need deliverance. God, I'm, I'm, now I'm sitting here watching pornography. And now, now I can't sleep because I, I, oh, I got to stay up all night. I'm watching TV because this is like this. Or I, I, I'm, I'm. We got stuff. Mm -hmm. We just got so much stuff that we're dealing with instead of just being honest. Being honest. I'm sexually frustrated. I'm okay. I'm all right. All right now. <laughs> Tell the truth. I'm going to read it again. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts. What am I saying? We can look like a Christian all day. We can walk around like a Christian. We can talk like a Christian. But we ain't being truthful about what we're going through on the inside. And therefore, we can't get delivered. We can't move forward. I'm waiting on God to do this. I want God to move in my life. I want God. But no, you, he's still waiting for you to get truthful with what's going on inside of you. Come on now. He want the truth. Jesus. And our inward part, in, from, from these inward parts. Yeah, Lord. Well, I don't do it like I used to. I ain't that way no more. I still be thinking about it, but I ain't that way no more. Well, let's start dealing with the thoughts. Come on. Let's start dealing with the thoughts. Anyway, humility is a must. Humility is a must. Listen, he says, and in the hidden part, you will make me to know wisdom. And so he wants us, and so once we get some truth, if we start dealing with the truth in the inward part, now we got some wisdom on how to handle some stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody understand? Yeah, Lord. Now we got some wisdom. I'm going to read it again. Listen. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts. And in the hidden part, you will make me to know 
wisdom. Yeah. And I'm telling you, you rather for God to, 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 to give it to you in the hidden part than to give it to you in the part that ain't hidden. In other words, to bust you out. Mm. <laughs> Everybody understand what I'm saying? You don't, yeah. listen, <laughs> we can get away with some stuff for so long, but, but they say warning comes before destruction. Yes. And God is telling you to deal with these things. Be honest on the inside. Because they, listen, David wasn't honest in the inside. You know. He thought he had got away with it. And so God had to expose him. Are we hearing this? I just gave us the story. Nathan had to come tell him. Yeah. yeah. But what if Nathan would have come and announced it to the city? Oh, my Lord. <laughs> He's been busted. Everybody understand it? Yeah, Lord. And in the hidden part, you will make me to know wisdom. And so for the stuff that we're dealing with, for the stuff that's not on the inside that we got, that we need to be honest about, that we need to be to, 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 to be humble about and just empty ourselves out before God. When we empty ourselves out, when, when we get real honest and be like, Lord, I'm struggling in this area. Lord, you know, apostle, get on my nerve with all that screaming. Lord, you know that he, 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 he irks me. And he got some bad jokes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just be honest. And say, I, I find it hard to, 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 that's a hard pill for me to swallow sometimes. Help me, oh Lord. Anyway, amen. Y'all still with me? Amen. Verse 7 says this. He says, purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. So he, he talked about washing me. He talked about cleaning. And now he's saying purge. Yeah. Purge me with hyssop. And I'm telling you, hyssop was known, uh, if people had to touch the dead body or something, it was known to be to make you clean again. Mm -hmm. Or if people had leprosy, it was known to, to, to wash you to, get, to, to, to make you clean. Somebody said, that got to be some strong stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. That was stronger than hand sanitizer. <laughs> Everybody understanding what I'm saying. Amen. But David is saying, purge me. Purge me. What am I telling us? Amen. Listen, I'm telling you, we have this thing, us, we, Christians, we have this thing about as long as I say, God, forgive me. It's all good. I don't ask for forgiveness. I'm good now. Amen. Amen. But do you see, David was broken. He was broken. He, he was like, man, listen, I'm, 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 I need you to do a whole lot to fix me. But this was a man after God's own heart. And so I don't know how you look at yourself if you were a man or woman after God's own heart. Amen. But David loved God. He loved him. Amen. But yet he's emptying himself out and saying, man, I'm messed up. Man, I'm broken. I need you to do something for me. But wash me with hyssop. Hallelujah. And I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Because he said, God, only you can do it. Amen. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. But I need you to do it. I, I need it to be from your hand. But listen, I'm telling us that sometimes, amen, for us as people, we don't always get this, like David, we, we don't get this up close and personal with God. We don't empty out all this stuff. We don't lay all our cards on the table. Amen. We be holding this stuff back. Listen, I talked with a young man yesterday. And... One of the things that I thought um, really special about our conversation is that he was telling me, he was like, man, listen, I talk to God every morning. He said, I talk to God every morning. He said, I, I, um, I try to find a, 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 a place um, in a time, some quiet time where I can just talk with the Lord. 
Now, this ain't somebody that you would think that's trying to live for God. But he's making this statement saying that I talk with God. I spend time with God. I have an intimate relationship with God. These are, these are his words. And he, but, but in him saying that, he said, people have always told me that there's a calling on my life. Mm -hmm. He's like, but um, I just don't want that responsibility. And so because I don't want that responsibility, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to keep living like I'm living. Keep doing because I don't want that responsibility. So what am I, why, why, why am I sharing that with us? Why, 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 why am I mentioning this? I'm mentioning this to us to understand that we're going to have to give an account. Amen. Amen. And because whether we acknowledge it or not, and if God has put you in position to help people, to minister to people, and you're scared to open your mouth or you're scared to do because you don't want to be charged with it or you don't want that responsibility or whatever, Amen. then you're literally rejecting God. Yes. Amen. Yes. Because every everybody's ministry, everybody... Ain't, it ain't up in here. Amen. It ain't standing behind this right here. Amen. And so we feel like we don't got away with it. I don't got away with it because I ain't said, because I ain't confessed with my mouth, <laughs> because I don't believe in my heart no. that well, I can get away with it. Not so. Amen. Not so. You self deceiving yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you deceiving yourself. Anyway, back to the word. Again, watch me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Listen, I'm going to read that again. Did y'all catch that? He says, make me hear joy and gladness. Amen. Comma, that the bones you have broken may rejoice. And so he said, listen, I was happy as, a, as, as they say, a, a skeeter bug. <laughs> hey Amen. I was just as happy flying around, leaping around, I'm the king, whatever, until Nathan showed up. Hey Amen. I was just as happy as I got away with it. That's done with. That's, that, that's over. Hey Amen. My thoughts, whatever I was dealing with. It's, it's, I, I ain't had to face it because then nobody know I was thinking it. Didn't nobody know I did it in the dark. Didn't nobody know it ain't came to light. And so I'm good. I'm just as happy as I get it. But when that thing gets exposed, it's like breaking your bones. <laughs> and so we joy as long as we don't got away with it. Ah, glory. Hallelujah. But when that thing found out, listen, he's like, I'm going to read it again. Make me hear joy and gladness. That the bones you have broken may rejoice. Amen. And so he's crying out. He's like, listen, after all that, after all I've been through, after all that, that, that and you, you don't, you don't, you don't bust me out, whatever, I still want to rejoice. I still, listen, I still want you to restore me. I still need you to need, need you to restore my joy, restore my gladness. The, the, these bones that, that's broken, amen, that they, they, they can still rejoice. Hallelujah. Everybody hearing this? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the, listen, I don't know about you, but this sounds like a broken man to me. Mm -hmm. This sounds like a man that really saying, God, I need your help. I need you to do this for me. Yeah. Amen. He says, hide your face from my sin and blot out all my iniquity. In other words, turn, God, you know I messed up, but turn your face from it. Please don't look at it. Listen, I don't know about you, but... Just thinking about some of the stuff I did and how I wounded my wife and how I messed up my family. That stuff hurts me. Hey Lord. To this day, it still it bothers me how I live. It stinks. Hey Lord. And David understood. He's like, God, please don't look at that mess. Please don't look at all. Please don't look at that. Don't turn your face from my stuff. Don't, don't even look. It, it. Everybody understand it. Don't look at that filth. You too holy, you too righteous to even look at.
look at my. Turn your face from that. Please don't look at that. Please don't look at. Please, please don't look at that. Hallelujah. Hide your face from my sins. And blot out all my iniquities. Turn your turn, turn your face from it. And just erase it. So can't nobody else even see him. Hey man, I don't, I don't, I don't want nobody to see this. So, so just erase him. Hallelujah. Blot him out. Verse 10. Create in me a clean heart, O God. And renew a steadfast spirit within me. And so he goes on, but I'm just going to stop right there at verse 10. Um, as I, as I, as I, that's where I read to. But I'm, listen, I just need us to know, and, 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 and again, that humility is a must. And so here we find this man of God, this man that, that, that loved God, just, just, just adored God. And again, even God called him a man after his own heart. We know David's story. We, we, we've heard how God selected him and, 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 and how he was anointed. And we, 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 we read about even how his, how, how his father didn't, didn't even think him uh, uh, enough to even stand in front of Samuel and be recognized. And Samuel had to, is there another son somewhere? Whatever. But his father didn't even see him. But then we find that even with the instruments, he was he played the string instruments. And it talked about how he, how he played the instruments in the the evil spirits would depart. And so David was just anointed. Amen. We, we yeah, know about how he killed Goliath and, and all these other stuff. Amen. We know how the people paraded around on how great David was and how he killed his, his, his how, how, how Saul killed his thousand, David and ten thousands and, and so forth and so on. We read all this. It's all in the word. Yeah. But yet he messed up before God. Yeah. Yes, he did. And sometimes we think that we saved. But we've messed up. And we still living like we ain't messed up. We still ain't went and got that thing right with God. We still feel like, well, again, and I've said it at least four times already. Well, I asked for forgiveness. But did you ask the Lord to have mercy? Did you ask the Lord to blot out? Did you ask him to, to wash you? Did you ask him to cleanse you? Did you ask him? Did you humble yourself before him? That you may once again rejoice and that, that your gladness and, and, and your joy may be restored. Or are we yet walking around with broken bones? Has God restored you? Have we really been restored to our rightful place? Or have we just been going along to get along? Mm. Are we still just churching because it, 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 well, well, I still feel God every now and then. I still feel a, I still feel a little something every now and then, so I must be all right. Yeah. Mm. But humility is a must. We got to get real with God. We got to now. We got we got to deal with the truth down inside of us. Yeah, Lord. I don't love my wife like I'm supposed to. I don't love my husband like I'm supposed to. These people wronged me. Yeah, I forgive them, but and I can still smile. But you don't know what's going on down inside of me. We need to get honest and be like, God, I'm struggling. You know me. You see me. God, have mercy on me. Extend your tender mercies. Help me, dear God, to love them the way you love them. Help me, dear God, to change the way I see some stuff. Change me how I respond to some stuff because some stuff been happening to me all my life and now I've gotten to a place where if, 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 if any, any sign of it, it just makes me cringe. Any sign of it, any, any words, it just, God, deal with me. Yes. Yes. Help me. Because if you don't restore me, if you don't put me, if you don't put me into my right place, how can I reign as a king? I'm talking about David. How can I reign as a king? And so what is it that God has for us? What is 
he put us in charge of? What, what is God asking of us? What is our, is our responsibility here on the earth? Can we really do it if we're not restored to our rightful place? Humility is a must. Yeah, Lord. We must humble ourselves before God. Yes. Literally. Empty out. Dump that stuff out. And be real honest. God, I'm wounded. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hurting. Yes. I did this. I didn't mean to hurt her. I did that. I didn't mean to do it. Yeah. I did that. And I meant to do it. Yeah. But I know you can fix me. Yes. Yes. I know you can change me, God, where I don't do it again. Yeah. God, you know I have these thoughts sometimes. I know it's impure. I know it's, 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 it, it, it lacks morality. But that's how I think sometimes. You know, my, you know, you know me. But just be honest. And stop saying I'm okay when you're not okay. Amen. You may feel okay. But the truth is, we're in error. We're still in iniquity. We're yeah. still walking around in sin. Yeah. And so he, he sums that up by saying, create in me a clean heart, clean heart. Yeah. and renew a right spirit. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. The right spirit. Because if it's not the right spirit, then it's the wrong, wrong spirit. Yeah. Are we hearing this thing today? Yeah. And so I bless the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Come on and give the Lord a hand clap of praise.